This episode is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community featuring over 25,000 classes that could help you learn a new life skill. Hypercars, bullet trains, fighter jets. Humans love to build things that go fast. We're good at it. In the space of under 120 years, we've gone from flying at 35 miles per hour to over 2,000 miles per hour. That's an increase of over 6,000%. But ridiculously fast machines fall into a number of different categories, each with its own speed champion. In this episode, we'll look at the fastest human-operated land vehicle, the fastest air-breathing jet aircraft, and finally, the fastest thing humans have ever made. For our first record breaker, we need to go back in time about 22 years. On October 15, 1997, Thrust SSC became the first and only manned land vehicle to break the sound barrier. The car, which technically still is a car, though powered by jet engines, is a giant beast. Over 16 meters long and nearly 4 meters wide, Thrust weighs in at nearly 10 tons, roughly the weight of 7 average cars. It's estimated to have the equivalent of 102,000 brake horsepower, the output of almost 64 Hennessy Venom F5s, currently the fastest supercar in the world. But Thrust doesn't operate like a normal car. It doesn't have a stated 0 to 60 time because it's not the type of vehicle where you can just floor it and launch off the line. Earning the land speed record is more than just pointing the thing in a straight line and holding onto the steering wheel for dear life. On a clear October day in 1997, driver Andy Green, a Royal Air Force fighter pilot, had a very particular set of steps to break the land speed record safely. The test took place in Nevada's Black Rock Desert, far from anything that could pose a potential hazard to the car or driver. After firing up the rockets and running one last test of the equipment, Green had to inch off the line slowly, about the same speed as a family car leaving a stoplight. Up until about 100 miles per hour, Green had to be very gentle with the throttle. Once he's given the OK, Green is able to give Thrust SSC full throttle, and the car starts to accelerate faster, gaining about 25 miles per hour every second. As the speed inches towards supersonic, gusts of wind, variations in ground texture, and turbulence from air passing over and under the vehicle all start to make it very difficult to keep the car straight. At one point, Green has to turn the wheel 90 degrees just to keep it going in a roughly straight line. After easing back on the throttle a bit to fix the car's orientation, he's able to accelerate again, finally breaking the sound barrier and eventually reaching the top speed of any manned land vehicle, 763 miles per hour. The whole trip took place over 14 miles of desert, and they needed every bit of it to hit their top speed and decelerate safely. There are other jet-propelled cars that have an eye on the title of land speed record holder, but so far, Thrust SSC has held onto its crown for almost a quarter of a century. Our next record holder is a very special aircraft, and not just because it was in Call of Duty. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was a revolutionary aircraft back in its day, and it still holds the airspeed record for air-breathing jet aircraft, 43 years later. The Blackbird was designed as a reconnaissance aircraft, and was one of the earliest planes to feature a reduced radar cross-section, meaning it was much harder for enemies to detect. From its inception in 1964 to its final days in service in 1998, only 32 SR-71s were produced. And during that time frame, even though 12 were lost in accidents, not a single Blackbird was shot down by enemy combatants. There were a few reasons for this. First, they were hard to spot both because of their newer, less radar-detectable design, and because they flew much higher than other aircraft. Its other great defense was its tremendous speed. If the system detected a surface-to-air missile, standard avoidance procedure was simply to speed up and outfly it. Just how fast was the SR-71? On July 28, 1976, then-Captain Eldon Jurse and then-Major George Morgan officially broke the previous airspeed record for air-breathing manned jet aircraft, pushing the Blackbird to 2,193.2 miles per hour. Another pilot, Brian Scholl, reported that he had flown the SR-71 in excess of Mach 3.5, or almost 2,600 miles per hour in 1986 to avoid a missile over Libya. Since that account was never verified, Jurse and Morgan's previous record of 2,193.2 miles per hour has remained unchallenged since 1976. As fast as Thrust SSC and the Blackbird are, neither of them even comes close to the fastest object humans have ever created. For that title, we need to leave the planet entirely. Now, this record is an interesting one because of how well we can predict future speeds of various spacecraft and whether gravitational assists are considered cheating. As of this moment, the spacecraft that has achieved the highest speed is NASA's Juno probe, when it reached 165,000 miles per hour in orbit around Jupiter in 2016. But if we consider only those spacecraft without gravitational assistance, the crown belongs to Helios 2, which hit 150,000 miles per hour back in the 1970s. Neither of these records will stand for long, though, because we know for a fact that the Parker Solar Probe, barring any freak accidents, will blow them both out of the water. 
Launched in August of 2018, the Parker Solar Probe will be the first spacecraft to make a close approach to the Sun, about 6 million kilometers away at its nearest point. At that point, the probe will be zipping along at 430,000 miles per hour, almost triple the speed of Helios 2. To put that in perspective, if you were to travel that speed on Earth, you could get from Washington DC to Tokyo in less than a minute. That's 196 times faster than the Blackbird, and 563 times faster than Thrust SSC, which could cover the same route in 3 hours and 8.9 hours respectively. That is unbelievably fast, and the Parker Solar Probe will likely hold the title of fastest man-made object for quite some time. Eventually, all three records will be broken. It's only a matter of time until we devise even faster land, air, and spacecraft. But until that point, these are the fastest of the fast. The kind of math that's required to create a machine that can operate at those speeds and maintain a proper course is seriously complex. And while learning how to design, launch, and maintain the fastest machine in the universe is a little beyond most of us, we can learn lots of other useful skills with Skillshare. Skillshare is a fantastic website that provides creators an online learning community to actively improve your skills. They have everything from photography, to graphic design, to productivity, marketing, fine art, and more. I love Skillshare because anytime I'm bored, I can just put on a class and learn something worthwhile. A premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on useful topics, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. If you're trying to become a YouTuber yourself, I highly recommend you check out this course by Evan from Polymatter. It's all about how to make animated YouTube videos and it's amazing. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for you guys. The first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description will get two months of Skillshare completely free. To start learning amazing new skills today, visit Skillshare by following the link below.